A very frequent question that I get is, when do I add to a stock when it's engulfing? Do I add to a stock at the end of the day? So for example, we got an engulfing candlestick here on Costco. Do you add at the very end of the day? Well, no, that's not really going to be beneficial to you. And the reason is by the end of the day, obviously the day is over. You need to be adding in the middle. I'm going to pull up the weekly chart just so we get rid of all of those distractions. This is exactly the same candle. So my biggest rule, we need to be trading after 10.06 a.m. Eastern time. And the reason is I like to get rid of all of the overnight trading, all of the future stuff, all of the options. I just want all of that to settle down. The volatility really starts between 9.30 and 10.05, 10.06 in the morning. That's when I, I just want to get rid of that volatility and let things calm down. And then I will trade. So let's say that it gets to about 10, 10 a.m. And of course, we're talking about Eastern time. And I have an engulfing candlestick like this. I'm going in and I'm buying. Now, the question becomes, is it just engulfing candlestick and you buy? Well, no. Now I'm going to go back to the other chart. What I really need to see, and I hope that I'm clear about this one. If I get an engulfing candlestick and I do not have a lot of volume, here I do have a lot of volume, so it would have been okay. Do I just go in and buy? You need to make sure that when you, uh, you're after 10.06 a.m., you have an engulfing candlestick, you need to make sure that the volume is there. So of course, at 10 o'clock in the morning, your volume is not going to be here because this is the end of the day. Make it relatable to average volume. Let's say that you were in this range and you were getting about... I don't know, 700,000 shares traded in the first hour and average volume is 2.3 million. That's pretty good. I mean, you have to correlate it to average volume over the day. So if you're getting that 700,000 out of 2.3 million, that's good volume. And there's your engulfing candlestick and you can move on. Now this one, of course, you would have to pay attention to these moving averages. But the point that we're talking about here is engulfing candlesticks. You need to understand, you add to engulfing candlesticks when they're happening. Sometimes you're gonna have candles that run up like this and then they're going to come and they're going to pull back down during the day. Maybe around two o'clock, they're going to pull back down. You're going to finish with a wick and it's not an engulfing candlestick anymore. It proved that it could get to that level. It proved that it could get to that level. And most important, it had the volume. So if the volume is there, the next day is probably going to have a lot of good buying volume. And then you're going to be engulfing again, going sideways again, then engulfing the next day, something to that effect. That is how you go and add to engulfing candlesticks. Catch on the flippy flop.